sand. We are gathered here tonight in the presence of God and the sight of this company to join together Brianna and Austin in sacred matrimony. Marriage is a commitment that is made thoughtfully and reverently with gratitude for the past and with hope for the future. We celebrate today the love that Brianna and Austin have discovered in each other to celebrate their new marriage and to honor the beginning of their new life together. Who brings this woman in marriage today? Thank you. And you may be seated. Face each other. I'll begin your wedding ceremony today with a reading about love from the Holy Scriptures of the New Testament. The Apostle Paul said that if I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I'm nothing. If I give away all that I possess to the poor, surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. Love is not proud. Love is not rude. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But faith, hope, and love always abide these three things. But the greatest of these is love. And now I will ask you each these questions. First, Austin, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish Brianna all the days of your life from this day forward? And do you also promise to be a good and faithful husband, to protect her and to provide for her in all ways, and to put her needs always above your own? If so, look at her and say, I do. I do. Brianna, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish Austin? all the days of your life from this day forward. Do you promise to be a good and faithful wife, to care for him, and to cherish him in all ways, and to put his needs always above your own? If so, look at him and say, I do. I do. And now a reading about the covenant of marriage. Marriage has certain qualities of a contract in which two people take on the housekeeping tasks of living together to enhance life's joys. However, marriage is so much more than a contract. Marriage is a commitment to take joy deep, deeper than happiness, deep into the discovery of who you both truly are. Marriage is a commitment to a spiritual journey, to a life of becoming, in which joy can comprehend despair running through rivers of pain, but always back into joy again. And thus, marriage is even deeper than a commitment. Marriage is a covenant that says, I love you and I trust you. I will be here for you when you're hurting, and when I am hurting, I will not leave. It is a covenant that is intended not to provide a haven from pain or anger or sorrow because life offers no such haven. Instead, marriage is intended to provide a sanctuary that is safe enough to risk loving, to risk living and sharing from the center of oneself, and this is worth everything. And now we come to your wedding vows, which you will speak to each other today and renew each and every day of the rest of your married life together. Austin, look at your bride and repeat after me. I, Austin, take you, Brianna. I, Austin, take you, Brianna. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Brianna, look at your groom and repeat after me. I, Brianna, take you, Austin. I, Brianna, take you, Austin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. Forsaking all others. 
taking all of it. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And now I'll ask you to take each other by the hands. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding your hands on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, both the tears of sorrow and the tears of joy. These are the hands that may tenderly hold your children and these are the hands that will help to hold your family together as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you most need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when someday become wrinkled and aged, who will still be reaching for yours and still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. And may we now have the wedding rings. Rings are a symbol of your commitment to each other, that love is a circle of happiness, of wonder, and delight. May these rings be blessed so that he who gives it and she who wears it may abide in peace and continue in love until life's end. Austin, as you take the ring now and place it on Brianna's finger, repeat after me, Brianna, with this ring. Brianna, with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a public symbol. As a public symbol. Of our love. Of our love. And commitment. And commitment. To each other. To each other. Place the ring. Brianna, as you... Place the ring on Austin's finger. Repeat after me. Austin, with this ring. Austin, with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a public symbol. As a public symbol. Of our love. Of our love. And commitment. And commitment. To each other. To each other. Would you all bow your heads and close your eyes as I pray. Our most gracious and eternal Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this holy place that celebrates love. Be with them on the more difficult days that also come. And I pray that you would be with them during every day, every season, every year that they will share from this day forward as husband and wife. I pray that you would strengthen the bond that exists between them today and may it grow ever stronger in the years to come. And I pray that you would bless them and keep them, that you would make your face to shine upon them and be gracious unto them, and that you would grant them your peace. And I pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed and may you be prepared to continue to love each other when you need to forgive each other and to experience more and more joy with each passing day and year. Austin and Brianna are now beginning their married life together. And we who are here hope that they may have the loving assistance of family, the constant support of friends, and a long life with good health and an everlasting love. And now, by the authority that is vested in me, by the state of Tennessee, as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Brianna, take your flowers, turn and face your guest, and take his arm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin McCann. Thank you so much for attending.